a true combination attack between Asta and, you know, question marks? It's being very weird how he's acting right now with, like, the, how everyone is describing you know, and it's like, uh, that's a scenario that's happening, and Leet's acting a little bit weird, too. There's a lot of stuff happening here right now. Ooh, we, uh, everyone is just, like, so unprepared. Everyone is just like, okay, this scenario of us, like, reincarnating didn't work out as expectedly well as everyone thought it would uh, be, and, like, yeah, same thing could be said with a little bit of this chapter as well, because, boy, was there a lot of things not unprepared as well, and I th I hate always saying that now, because it is becoming a consistent thing with uh, Clover ca uh, chapters, which, again, uh, was... It was pretty bad this week, as half of the pages wasn't complete. Like, a lot of them were very rough drafting. I'd like to... It was either to half to a quarter. I'd like to say it was like somewhere between there. Whereas like there was a huge chunk of like this chapter which just wasn't finished. And it's like you can definitely tell now. And like this was a thing with like uh, the My Hero author as well. Where it's like both him and Tabata just did not take breaks for like the longest time. And I think he finally took one like like a couple of months ago. Four or five months ago. I still don't think Tabata's had that case yet. But, no, seriously, I think this is a time where it's like, he's clearly having an issue keeping up with the, pa uh, with the pace. And I I'll clearly, like, uh, I would think this would be a sign of the exhaustion and just, like, originally it was like, oh, well, the, the original excuse was like, no, like, he, like there's some of the, how they, like, put the chapters in, they have to be in by this deadline so the printing can work. Which is a, still a, a factor as well. But considering that Tabata is the only one that I'd be like from like... I read pretty much most of the Shonen Jump roster for the most part. But it's like, if he's the one that's been consistently having this problem, it's like... No, this is actually just like more of the problem that he's having a, a difficulty like keeping up with the workload. And just point out, yeah, doing a consistent weekly manga with about 16, 18, even more pages. I like to point out, some people do 20 pages, some people do double chapters if they're insane. Like, this is showing, like, how nutty this, like, workload is. Right? It, it clearly gets to them. Like, Japanese work conditions are not great at all. So, again, like, I am lighter on it, but then again, it's like, the fact that it is a consistent thing happening now with Black Clover, and I, regardless, I will mention it, because, like, again, like, I... I really do enjoy the series, but I'm not going to be, like, a huge hypocrite. It's like, oh, there was nothing wrong with the chapter or and it does, it does take me out of, like, when I read these chapters, I get kind of immersed, and then it's like, no, that's clearly not what that's supposed to be right there. And it's like, I, I hate having that little part of my head, but it's just it's just something I uh, should mention in there before we get into the actual review. And, it's like, ho like, hopefully it's fixed, uh, like, next week and everything, and obviously these are going to be fixed when the uh, actual volumes come out. But still, the fact it's like it's like that, I'm like, ah, oh, this is still kind of shitty that we have to deal with this situation, uh, nonetheless. But time to actually get into the actual review as well. So when Asta's calling out to him, he's like, are you really you know? Like, is that really you, buddy? And it's just like, but what's with the ears, man? What's with the tattoo? And like, you know, it's just like, what, uh, what, what? Uh, uh, I guess I've got these. And it's like, dude, you've got a weird mark on your face as well, and it's glowing. And it's like, is it? And weird thing for this as well is that uh, like bell like the little sylph actually has this as well so it wasn't just you know like completely transformed it was her as well where it's like oh look you know it's we we match now we have the cute little uh, i think is this like the only time that bell's really talked because even in the anime they've given her like extra dialogue and extra lines where it's like I don't remember at all, like, Bell saying anything, like, at all. Like, I remember just maybe one or two lines, and it was like, okay, I guess now, like, Bell is, like, kind of a character now. And I guess as well, now it's like, oh, yeah, she's a little tiny little pixie elf, like, with Bell. Like, get it? Yeah, of course, she's a fucking, like, you, you can see there, she's a Peter Pan reference through and through. And especially with, like, this whole argument going on. Whilst, like, Asta kind of gets down, like, you know, trying to take care of Mimosa and, like, trying to resolve that. And it's, like, the how they mention it is, like, Yuna's just, like, I am myself. Like, I am completely the same person. And when Klaus and the Golden Door member, like, think, is, like, oh, he's back. Like, you come with us, our comrade. And how they're clearly describing this and, like, Lyra saying, like, 
this is a clear problem right now. It's like the, the reincarnation succeeded, but Lee and his own Grimra and like uh, the sword before him are not having any reaction. Like Leet's not move. I kind of glad it was like this is the excuse. It's like why Leet's not getting involved. Where it was like no, he's just being an an evil person just monitoring the scenario. It's like no, he's a vegetable right now. Like clearly it's like this is the price that and like invoking this magic where it's like no he's n he looks he still needs time he's not even fully ready to come out and how they describe you know it's like oh you know needs some time as well until he awakens and it's like and how they're describing it it's like the two souls are dominating one another right, right as they're going through it it's like by two different uh, like um souls as like as he explains this it's like the true soul is still like lies dormant in these and he's like and he kind of understands the situation as well where he's like oh i understand that that there is someone in me right now and he may not have the entire same scenario that i do but right now i am i am the magic knight of the glow of the kingdom i am you know and that is no one else so you know could go either or all at this moment i mean i still believe where uh, who he, his exact true nature is like who exactly he is but yeah no this might be a, another reason to explain like why you know is being able to actually control himself right now and it's like how they were describing it is like uh, like from like um klaus and aaron is like oh he's so extremely strong will and i'm like so was luck and i'd like a lot of the other characters and that was just kind of no they just was able to be sideswiped by this and it's like even with this, it's like it was a fight between Klaus, the Golden Door member, and Asta, all having a little 2v2 right there. As like, Lyra didn't really get involved with this match at all. I was surprised that he didn't actually come in and try and help them. It seems like more he was just like taken aback by this. As I like that, of course, you know, was the cocky piece of shit where it's like, you know, I like I have no idea how I'm gonna get these guys out. Like I, I was just guess I gotta bind them or something. But you take it easy, Asta, with my new powers. You'll be fine. And Asta just laughs in his face. He's like, I am not letting you do this alone, you piece of shit. Well, let's go. Let's actually go. When's the like? This is like one of the few times we get the tag team. Like, let's go. And a great, if anything, one of my favorite panels is, of course, you can see the two polar opposite going with each other on here. Demon Wing on the left, Spirit Drive on the right, as the both of them like bring out the giant gauntlet and the crown and the blade and I'm like Yeah, alright, I really do like that. And it's like this cool little um black energy and like with the sign and all that combining with like the light and it's like the two of them just charging in. It's like let's go as like both of them trying to do a combination magic and it's like let's use uh, like both of our moves and all that. Let's use the spirit drive, let's use like the I believe it was like the um uh, the black horn or like uh, what are the ball point uh, that has to use as they like charged in and we can see where it's like you know, we we are going to defeat you come in with a giant anime scream and slash down it's like yeah like if anything is like take take down these guys because to be there is klaus and it's that other fucking golden dawn la asshole like i would understand where like um when i was going through the comments and seeing what people were thinking about the chapter it's like a lot of the complaints was coming off from like obviously the unfinished drawing but a lot of them was like man they're really dehyping these elves i'm like it just took mary leona just to, like like on her own to barely hang against six of them and i was like we're seeing you know who is already a fucking insanely overpowered character we've got Asta with his anti-demon mode and like the klaus who's someone like regardless of being a golden dawn member like he still wasn't that very strong from what we've seen of other characters like he got immediately destroyed by, like, someone like Mars. And, like, Mars, I feel like, is not really on the level where the elves are. Like, he's somewhere in between. Like, he's he's strong, but he's not as strong as some of the people that are facing there. And it's, like, generally, like like I said, I'm happy with the twist of the whole, uh, like, Yuno know thing right now. Where it's, like, no, Yuno know is the one in control. He's the one, and he's using this power to try and defeat him. But the question is, is that we don't know how long that's going to last and whether or not the spirit is really fully going to agree with it because of, especially who I still think that is, like, we don't know where he's going to uh, put on the side with that. But I kind of like that, that no, th clearly there's a dominance in there and it is setting up the chance that it's like, yeah, these characters can come back. These characters are like, it sounds like if the souls are will willing to let go of the bodies, that's sort of the way how they can do it. It depends like whether or not it's like no this is this is a lot more of a more dominant soul than like the previous host so we'll have to see where that goes down but i definitely did like the last two panels in there where they like came in charging both using their secret technique 
kind of really reminds me because like Tabata is heavily showing these two going at it like each other, especially with the guy book coming out now. It's like where the whole thing is like you see at uh, like anti demon mode Aster alongside with Spirit Drive, you know, and it's like no, they he really wants to show these two forms. It's like they're pretty much on everything at this point. I think uh, I don't know if we've had anti demon on a cover yet. I know we've had color pages of him and. I think that's the first time both Spirit Drive as well has been like on a proper like color page because we've seen like only any demon color pages. He's not on been on any of the covers so far. There's like apart from like one of the witches ones that like really heavily hid in the anti demon mode. But overall, like I thought this was a fine chapter. It went by pretty quickly for me. Uh, like although again, it's like at this point, like generally, if he uh, if Tobiah cannot keep up with the work, I would generally like. My honest thing is, like, he should actually just take a break. Once this arc is finished, like, I, I really mentioned it on Twitter, I was like, I think Tabata should just take a break, use that time to recharge the batteries, and just get back. I know that's not how really well the Japanese workplace does, but, like, considering that, like, people like Oda takes a numerous amounts of breaks, like, and he needs to recharge his batteries, you've got people like where, like, Kubo took, like, months off to, like, actually think of stuff uh same thing with kishi and a bunch of the other authors i've seen on there it's like i think like you're gonna burn these guys out at like at one point it's like the guy's been working for like three long hard like years i think yeah maybe he deserves having a couple like a couple of weeks off at least to like kind of work on it so overall yeah like i thought the chapter was uh fine for the most part like definitely like I definitely did like some of the, like, the attack things on there. Uh, definitely shows, like, it kind of hitting a little bit more with some of the characters at the moment. It wasn't super fucking impressive, but, like, yeah, I just, uh, again, like, the art the art thing is just mainly my biggest gripe of this chapter. Like, that, and I th it did feel a little short on there, but it's like, there wasn't a heavy amount of content in this um, chapter. It was more like, we've got Yudo back, right, let's finish off Cloud in that piece of shit. Let's go in. But, yeah, no, overall, decent chapter. Just had, like, a few issues here and there. So, you know, I'd rather keep it real with people than be like, there was no problem whatsoever at all. Like, and I'm going to be honest. I've been honest with that with Quartet Knight, who's, which has had issues, uh, looks like it's having issues. We've got the anime, which we all know where the anime was originally. And same thing, we don't know. So, hopefully, the mobile game maybe I see has something up its sleeve. So, we'll have to wait and see. But, yeah, that's all from me. Thank you for always for watching, and I'll see you guys, though next time.